hate this channel. No, no! Hi everyone, right, so uh, it's not your normal type of preview, like I mentioned uh, on the last word, I've lost it the original clip. The, it has been at the minute, mind. You've been doing quite a few previews outside of ground, grounds because of how busy the Christmas period is. It has. Um, we're not doing the big preview. Um, this video is all about Rochdale. That's all it's about. Who, who, are, who are they? Where are they? How did they play? Because it's going to be... Um, a difficult afternoon. We'll hear from Kyle in a moment, but I'm going to jump on my Mac and run you through what Rochdale are like. Right, so we're going to take a look at the recent form. Now, they've picked up a win on New Year's Day against Neighbours Accrington. However, before this game, just in the league, they had lost eight out of nine games. So they're not in the greatest form, despite winning on New Year's Day. Let's have a look where they are on the league table. Remember, only three sides go down this year because of Berry, And as you can see, that win was crucial against Accrington Stanley because they're now four points clear away from the relegation zone. But have a look at uh, the top of this table in 13th position. Just goes to show you how tough for some clubs League One really is. Now let's take a look at some players who you may know. And of course, Paul McShane who turns 34 on Monday. Big shout out to HITC Ramsey, who absolutely loves this fella. He's not going to play, I don't think. He's only made nine appearances this season. He's getting on a little bit, but he has contributed towards a goal. Let's take a look at the youngster, Luke Matheson, who, who has actually been linked to Newcastle. Made the headlines last season at Old Trafford because he scored with a header when he was only 16 years of age. Still only 17, 19 appearances, two assists and one goal. He'll be desperate to start because he doesn't start every game and he'll want to put his name in the headlines once more. He's a real prospect but I can't see him staying at Rochdale for long. The first of two strikers we're going to look at and it's a bit of a journeyman, Aaron Wilbraham. Now 40 years of age. He's made 16 appearances this season, grabbing an assist, scoring three goals, but he's not going to start. He's not the main man. Now, you're probably thinking, well, where's that name came from? Because he's actually played in the Premier League with Norwich, but more recently, in February 2017, he actually scored against Newcastle when he was playing for Bristol City in a 2-2 draw in the Championship at St. James's Park. And their main man up top is Ian Henderson, who turns 35 in just two weeks' time. 11 goals from 27 appearances is a fairly good rate. It's just short of one and two. Got two assists. He's your old fashioned type English striker where he can hold the ball up. His pace is obviously gone now. Good in the air. Good turn as well. Good link up play. So no doubt Rochdale will be trying to get it in his, his feet and into his head. Rochdale are likely to play a 4-3-3. Now the stadium only holds just over 10,000. I was actually at the stadium doing a bit of documentary work last week. It's going to be a full house. It's live on BT Sport. I expect the Newcastle crowd to be up for it, but it's a fantastic day for Rochdale. Newcastle just need to be wary that they could have a banana skin here. So that's what Rochdale are like. They're struggling at the bottom of League One. They're not scoring many goals, but it's a huge banana skin for the tune in it. Every time we play a lower league side, it's a massive banana skin. There's always that fear of Hereford all those years ago coming back, or Stevenage more recently. You know, Newcastle have got it in them to cock up in these situations. So, it, it, form for me, Lee, whether you want to go on about how good they are in League One. Um, so, does form go out the window because they're struggling at the minute? They struggled last season and they still made the fifth round of the tournament, more than us in the past 12 years. So, form goes out the window, mate. They'll be well up for this game. Do we change the formation, first of all? I mean... Uh, and who comes in? I don't think he will. I think he'll keep keep the same five at the back, which is smart to think against the League One team, but... So five at the back, who comes in? Matty, Sean, uh, Carl Darlow, Kraft? I think, I, think all, I think all four, what you've Gale, just said. Gale, if he's fit. I think Gale will play as well. I think, New two. I think a lot of fringe players will play, mate, out of... Because I don't really think we should be playing the first team, not with the hectic Christmas period we've just had. Uh, injuries totting up left, right and centre. We need to play these um, these fringe players. Not that I'm calling a couple of them fringe players, but likes of Croft and they haven't had chances. So, big opportunity for them, though. 
chance to impress, isn't it? Any of the under twenty threes, or do you think this will just won't take any? Um, he's be down I, to injuries. I think he's got to. I think Kel Watts deserves a chance. He's been good uh, out on loan. I think he's actually injured is, again. Is Rolando Aaron's back? No. no. So you are probably maybe Tom Allen, Victor Fernandez, maybe Jamie Sterry, Tom uh, Mosangari, perhaps. But any of them sitting on the bench, you think? I think a couple of them will be. I for sure. Um, Elias Sorensen as well. Maybe I think give he, him some game time. I think he. I think he needs a chance, Lee, if anything, because he's had a he's had a horrible couple of loan spells after what was an amazing couple of months in the under twenty threes, and then has a ha, has a bit of a hiccup. So it'd be, I think he needs to play play Gail and Elias together. Why not? Right then, so it's me and Johnny just at Rochdale. Uh, we'll have all the videos with you on Saturday afternoon. Tell everyone, bye bye. <laughs>